Hey everyone, welcome. I'm Allison Miller. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to do a practice for shoulder mobility, stabilization, and stretch. So we'll do a little bit of stabilizing and a little bit of stretch for the shoulders today. It's, it's really important to have that strength in the shoulders as well as that mobility. As we move through practice today, I want you to really focus a little bit more on alignment than range. I'll talk a little bit more about that as we get going, but basically think about not trying maybe to fully get the range of motion as much as finding a, a range of motion that's appropriate for you. So with shoulders, I might be sort of lifting my arms all the way up and maybe you're getting here and feeling some re restriction or pain. I want you to really honor that and not move past that. Just work with where your shoulder mobility is at today, honoring your body. We're gonna start out on our backs. Oh, please have a yoga strap available today as well. This is gonna be an important tool a little bit later. If you don't have a yoga strap, um, a scarf or even a towel, a thinner towel from the kitchen would work out great. So let's start out on our backs. Just taking a second to assess, to notice your breath. These next couple of breaths here as you breathe in and out, see if you can notice the, the body of the exhale just a little bit more. So as we look at the breath, you'll, you'll see that each inhale really has a beginning, a middle and an end. There's that little space between the in and the out breath. And then each exhale has a beginning, a middle and an end. Oftentimes one or two parts of the breath might feel as though it's a little bit tougher. It might be tough to get the inhale started or to completely kind of finish the inhale. Or it might be a little bit tougher to fully exhale all of that breath out, just noticing and paying particular attention to that middle, that body of the exhale. All right, next few exhales. As you exhale, just let your head tip to one side. Let the ear sort of tip toward the mat as you exhale. As you inhale, you'll roll the head toward center and just lift the head up a little bit. Exhale, you'll lower down and just gently let the head kind of roll the other side. As you inhale, roll to the middle and then lift. Don't try to lift until your head is back to center. Exhale, tip to the opposite side. Inhale to center and lift. We're just looking to get a little bit of strengthening here in these muscles along the neck. Each inhale, bringing the head to center and lift. Exhale, lower and just turn the head. This will be the last round. We'll just do one more to each side. It's a very subtle kind of a movement. Try to just slow down. All right, knees bent, feet on the floor here. We're gonna take a little variation on a bridge pose. So we'll start with the arms straight up here, hands to touch if they can, hips are down. As we move through this uh, bridge pose with an arm variation, I want you to focus on movement in the shoulders, right around the shoulder blades here. So. As you inhale, we'll lift the hips up and take the elbows down, goal posting the arms, hands up. 
And as you exhale, lowering the hips, one vertebra at a time, arms come up, hands to touch. As you inhale, elbows wide, kind of get broad across the shoulders. Everything's touching the ground along the upper back body here. As you exhale, you're reaching. So the shoulders are pulling up toward the sky, hips are down. Inhale. Exhale. Go ahead and take just a couple more of these, moving at your own pace. It's almost a little massage for the upper back body. All right, next time you exhale, hips are down, arms are up. Let's just let the arms rest down. Just take a moment to relax the fingertips and the palms. Breathe into the whole torso here. Try to feel the rib cage expand slightly with the breath. And rolling to your right or left side, pausing for a moment. We'll press up to a comfortable seat. Always like to take just a moment at the start of the practice to set an intention. So as you come to seated, soften down here into the sit bones, bring the hands to touch at the heart and set an intention for your day, for your practice. All right, we'll bring the hands down here. We're gonna inhale and sweep the arms up. Exhale, goal post the arms, kind of squeeze the shoulder blades together along the back body here. Inhale, take the arms up. Now, as the right arm goes down, the gaze will turn to the right as well. Inhale, our right arm up. Exhale, left arm down. Let the gaze turn to the left as the hand goes down. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, goal post. Let the shoulder blades kind of squeeze together here. Inhale, arms up. As you exhale now, right hand down behind you, left hand sort of to the chest. Take your gaze toward the right fingertip. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, other side. So right hand to the left side of your chest, left arm down. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, nice wide elbows, shoulder blades squeezed together. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, right hand down, little side bend here. Take a little tip to the right. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, tip to the left. Inhale and bring the arms up. Really reach out of the ribs here. When you exhale, let's goal post the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades together, almost like there's a lime or something between the shoulder blades. Inhale. Keep the lower ribs kind of pinned down toward the hips and just reach out through the upper ribs. Exhale, squeeze that lime between the shoulder blades. One more time. Inhale up. And exhale. Squeeze, take the arms down, and just roll the shoulders out a couple of times in each direction. All right. We'll take a, a seated version of a cat-cow now, so hands can just rest lightly on the thighs. If you need to, at this point, grab a blanket or anything just to throw under the hips for a little bit more comfort in the back body, feel free. We're gonna inhale and lift the heart, kind of arch the back, maybe even lift the gaze. As you exhale, round the back body, bring the chin towards the chest, really kind of pull the navel toward the spine. Inhale, opening, arching the back. Exhale, round the back body here, bring the chin in to the chest. Couple more times, just move on your breath. Warming up the spine. 
One more. And exhale. All right, inhale up. Nice long spine. Let's take a few circles here around the hips. So just kind of circling the shoulders around the hips. All right, let's change direction of those circles. Circle the other way a few times. Nice free movement here. Just whatever feels good, circling around. All right, finding center, just taking a moment to feel that pause. Notice any underlying movement of energy in the body. And let's come around to all fours for our next couple of poses. So if you have any issue with knees, feel free to put a blanket underneath uh, the knees here. Just a little extra cushion can oftentimes be very helpful. Um, what we'll do here on our hands and knees is actually just kind of play with the shoulders. So if you could get a shot of my shoulders here, hon, I'm just gonna kind of show, I'm gonna kind of lift the back, kind of lift the spine up out of the shoulders here. And then I'm just gonna let the shoulder blades kind of drop together and let the back body slide through. So I'm just kind of using a little bit of muscle engagement here just to let the shoulders kind of dip, let the spine dip between the shoulder blades, shoulder blades come together. And I'm gonna kind of press apart, open up the back body. And this next movement, we're gonna kind of try to find a place where everything's a bit, new, a bit neutral. So I'm not really sinking in here. My shoulder blades aren't coming together. I'm not totally collapsed into my back, but I'm also not really getting too active here. I want the shoulders to be fairly neutral as we do just a few little push-ups from tabletop. So bring the hands forward of the shoulders just a little bit so you're almost coming into a low plank. And then we're just going to lower a little bit here. Just a little lift and lower. And notice what's happening in the shoulders. How active and engaged they are. If you can keep them just a little bit more neutral Kind of keep them from moving, I guess is what I'm saying. The shoulder blades aren't tracking together and apart as they were a moment ago when we were intentionally making it happen. And at the point where you kind of feel as though the shoulders are maybe coming together, you're, you're probably gonna start to push back up. All right, let's just come up and out of that. Take a little break in child's pose here. Knees can be a bit closer together or farther apart for your comfort you choose. Take a couple breaths in and out. Arms nice and long. All right. On an inhale, come on up. We'll take the right leg straight back. Again, keeping the shoulders rather neutral here. So we want more activity. We want the core to get a little bit involved to the back body, kind of pull the, the belly in just a little bit. See if you can lift the right leg up, get the right toes off of the ground without making the shoulders get too activated here. So they're active but they're not clenched. Just looking for a nice strong torso, creating this stability, getting a little strengthening through the upper back body. All right, lower that right leg down. We'll take the left now. So again, try to take just a moment to kind of tuck the belly in, find this nice long line of energy from the crown of the head out through that back heel. As you're ready, you can inhale, lift that leg up. Try to keep the pressure between the hands nice and equal. Keep pushing the mat away. 
so that you're not sinking in as we did in that opening exercise. Notice that you're not sinking in. You're still pushing the mat away. The shoulders are active. Keep the belly engaged too, just helping out. All right, lower down. And we'll just take one little cow pose here, drop the belly, lift the heart, exhale, round the back, tuck the chin. Inhale, right leg back, and step it forward here into a low lunge. Inhale, lift that left leg, step it forward here, forward fold. Let's just inhale and halfway lift. Exhale all the breath out. Inhale, we'll sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands come to the heart. All right, so we'll take just a little standing sequence here. Kind of tune into the feet, bring the feet just about hip width apart, feel the whole sole of the foot on the ground and soften up the knees just a little bit. Inhale, come on up onto the balls of the feet and bring the arms up. As you exhale, lower the heels and the hands. So again, on this one, I want you to think about sort of pinning that lowest rib to the hips and finding the stretch in the upper ribs. Exhale, lower down. Inhale. And exhale. Nice, all right, let's grab the strap now. Or scarf, whatever you found around the house. And go ahead and take a step back, a pretty generous step back with your right foot. We're gonna find warrior one legs. So that back foot sort of pointed toward the top right corner of your mat. A Little bit of a bend here in this front knee. We're gonna take our strap and have the arms about 24 to 32 inches apart, some, somewhere in there. And we're just gonna play in here, so. We'll start out with the strap across the uh, lower abdomen. When you inhale, let's straighten the leg, bring the strap up, try to keep a little bit of tension in that strap. Exhale, take the strap behind you as far as feels good. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, sink into the knee and let the strap come back down to that starting position. You want to keep just a little bit of tension in the strap at all times. Go ahead and inhale, push into the foot, lift the arms up. Exhale, take the hands behind the back, finding that range of motion that's good for you. Remember, good alignment, good feel before range of motion. Inhale the arms up. As you exhale, bend in the knee. Keep that tension in the strap as you bring it back across the front of the body. All right, inhale, straighten that front leg. Arms up, we're gonna switch it up now. Exhale, tip to the right, left arm up. We're gonna reach up here out of this left arm, pull out with the right. Each inhale, reach up with the left. Each exhale, push out with the right hand. One more breath, inhale, reach up and out with the left. Exhale, pull down and away with the right. Inhale, come back to center. Bend into warrior one here on the legs. Bring the strap down. I'm just gonna take a little bit less of a, of a distance with it. And I'm gonna have you Actually, just pivot now toward the long edge of your mat. I'm just gonna flip around to face you, but just kind of pivot toward the long edge of your mat here. Legs wide and take the arms straight up. The hands should be about shoulder width apart now rather than nice and wide. And as you exhale, just bring the hands kind of around behind the head. Keep the tension in the strap. Keep pulling on both ends of the strap. Bend the elbows. And then inhale, straighten the arms up. 
couple more times. Exhale, take the elbows wide, bring the hands down behind the head. Keep that tension. Just feel what's going on in the shoulders. Oftentimes we have a big difference between the right and the left sides of the body. Just maybe notice is one shoulder dramatically different here in the pose. All right, inhale it up. Arms nice and long, let's release. And just taking a moment, and roll the shoulders if you like, or just let everything soften down and feel. Notice the breath. All right. We'll tip the right toes toward the back of your mat now and bend in to this right knee. We're gonna take warrior one here now with the right leg forward, left leg back. Take the strap nice and wide, 24 to 32 inches again. We'll start with that front knee bent, strap tight across the lower abdomen. As you inhale, straighten the leg, bring the strap up. As you exhale, let the strap come down behind the back, just within your own range of motion. Inhale, coming up, exhale, keep that tension in the strap, keep everything tight, bring it down. Ooh. Inhale, strap comes up, exhale, take it back. You might just stop here, wherever feels like your stopping point. Inhale, and then exhale. All right, inhale, we're gonna come up. We're gonna let the left arm drop down, right arm up. Keep reaching up and out of the right arm as you inhale, exhale, press down and away with the left. Inhale, reach up and out of the left arm. Exhale, pull down and away with the opposite arm. One more time. Top arm reaches and pull down and away. All right, inhaling up. Go ahead and pivot back to center and just a moment to observe. Take a breath or two. All right, we are just gonna make our way onto our belly now, so. Go ahead and come around here. Come on down to your abdomen. Take your arms out long, thumbs facing up. We're not really gonna use the legs on this one at all. We're just gonna work on a little bit of shoulder stabilization. So gaze on the horizon here. Just inhale and lift the right arm up. Thumb is up, keep the thumb up. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, lift the left up. Exhale, lower it down. And now you should feel where it is the shoulder. I can kind of feel it in my chest a little bit here too, that's doing the work. We're just kind of isolating that muscle, stay, getting a little bit of strengthening going here. Keep inhaling to lift one arm. Exhale, lower. And just, again, do as much as you can with your current mobility, right? Might just be an inch or two. All right, keep going one arm at a time, or if you want, both arms up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more time, inhale. Exhale, lower both hands down. Let's just take crocodile pose now. So elbows go wide, forehead will rest on the hands. A few breaths here. Kind of feeling any sensations across the upper back body shoulders, noticing what feels alive, noticing if there's any just messages from the body.
All right, as you're ready, we'll roll on to your right side, taking just a moment to pause, and then go ahead and roll on to your back body. As you come onto your back, just really get everything situated here. Try to feel as though the shoulders are evenly weighted. The hips are evenly weighted too. And let's bring the right leg in towards the chest here. Just give it a little hug. Left in towards the chest. Give it a little hug. Let's do both knees. Gentle rock side to side. Maybe a few circles with the knees. Circle in each direction here with the knees. Take a happy baby if you like, just working into the hips a little bit today. So grabbing the outer edges of the feet, taking the feet wide. Maybe even bringing the soles of the feet back together if that's available to you. You might inhale and open the legs, exhale, bring them together. Just taking a moment here. All right, releasing the legs. Take them long. Let the hands rest out at your sides. Feet rest, feet dropping open. Taking a few moments to connect with breath. Tuning again into that body of the exhale. Trying to release any tension. So just scanning the top of the head, cheeks and jaw, the neck, any tension along the collarbones, paying special attention to that upper back body, that space around the shoulders. Loosening any tension across the abdomen, the hips, the glutes, the thighs, around the knees, the lower legs, soles of the feet. Just allowing yourself to be a breathing body. The Bhagavad Gita says, even as the tortoise withdraws its limbs into its shell, the wise person withdraws their senses to find that peace within. So withdrawing yourself from any of that sensory input around you, any sounds, sights, any sort of pulls of the mind that might wanna take you off into a different direction, just pull your senses in and curl up in your shell like the turtle for just a few more moments. I would encourage you to stay here as long as you can today. When you're ready, I'll just roll to your right or left side take a couple of breaths on your side keeping your energy nice and soft you can comfortably press up coming to seated and taking a moment with eyes closed just to sort of feel notice any subtle shifts in your energy from the start of class to now. Maybe just noticing the, the shoulders, just noticing a new aliveness in the shoulders. Maybe throughout the day today, you'll, you'll just sort of notice how 
the shoulders are working. A lot of times that mindfulness of as we reach for something, just noticing how the muscles are working as we do it can help us start to just retrain and bring better health into these delicate areas of the body. Let's bring our hands together at our heart. Take a slight tuck of the chin here, just a little bow forward to seal in our practice. The light in me honors and salutes the light in each of you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a very peaceful day.